Hello guys, today I want to show you a very practical use case of AI, Claude or ChatGPT. From my personal experience, I am a backender at heart at core for 20 years. I've been a PHP developer and I'm not that good at front end. I mean, I'm okay, you can call it good enough to be dangerous, so to speak, but I don't really like styling CSS classes. It's just not my thing. So can AI help here? Of course. In fact, this is a very common use case. Even startups are born from that, like Bolt, like VO, and others that generate mostly HTML front-end code with some back-end. So let me show you an example with Tailwind Table. So here I am in Laravel Breeze, and for example, for a demo project, I need to show the table of users here. So what I have in my Laravel project at this point, route resource users. In controller, I have a method index, returning user all and then in the navigation blade I have a link to that users index route and then that controller returns users index blade which is a copy of dashboard blade that comes with Laravel Breeze just changed this part into nothing basically so we need HTML code with the table here and I will show you how I generated that with ChatGPT and Claude both on free versions. So this is the prompt in a human language, very basic without too much thinking. This is what I put inside of ChatGPT. This is by the way, model GPT 4.0. So create a tailwind table. I provide that it is a blade table, user variable, which columns to show and last columns should show edit and delete buttons. And I provide that it should be a button, not a link. And this is the result, the full table of blade with for each and others and also some explanation so you can copy and paste the full code and let's try to do exactly that so paste here and i have npm run dev running in the background so it will refresh automatically and this is the result there you go i think it's a pretty good style and i can move on working with other parts of the project that said, of course, AI assistants may miss some details so you need to double check. So for example, ChatGPT understood too literally when I said style it as a button, not a link. What I meant was visual styling, but what it provided actually was button without even any link. But of course, you can follow up and ask for some changes. And this is exactly what I did. Change the edit button to a link, just make it look like a button. And then change the delete button to a form with submit. And then the result is this, a with link, form delete, and if we copy that code, paste again here, and the result is this. This is a link now to a page that doesn't exist because I didn't create that, and delete also works with confirmation window added automatically. This is great. But it doesn't look great, different sizes and no spaces between them. But of course, again, we can ask ChatGPT to improve it. My third follow-up prompt is this. Now delete button is bigger than edit. Basically, I'm complaining. What have you done? Please fix it. Make them identical size and smaller space between them. So a bit more of CSS styling. And if we copy that option, paste here, this is the result. Now we have the link here, the button there, and the end of the story with ChatGPT. And of course, you can dive in into explanations and what CSS classes were added and how can you reuse them. Maybe you can create blade components from them. But to me, it's a very practical use case with successful usage of AI. Now, I did the same thing with Claude AI. Let's see how it did. My prompt to the Claude was exactly the same. I didn't change anything. And visually, Claude looks a bit differently. So the explanations on the left and the code on the right with versions of the code. So I have four versions and we will get to that. But if we copy the contents and paste them here, but I deliberately will paste underneath the ChatGPT table. So we will compare visually. And this is how it looks. So this is the table by ChatGPT and this is the table by Claude. What are the differences? Actions column is aligned to the right, probably more appropriate from UI perspective. Then the date is formatted as date automatically in more kind of human language. And then the buttons are a bit smaller, I guess. But in terms of code, it also understood too literally that I needed buttons. So there's button on click and button on click prevent default, which is not exactly what I meant. And the form for delete is kind of separate. So let's fix that. Or again, let's ask Claude to fix it. So this is what I did. Change the actions to href links. Just make them look like buttons visually. And this is where I made a mistake. Delete should not be a link. It should be a button. So this is exactly what I fixed in the follow-up prompt. So visually nothing really changed. But in version 3, we have link for edit here on the right. And form with method delete 
as it should be. But what Claude didn't accomplish, and I had to ask for that specifically on delete, add a confirmation, are you sure? And then in the final version, we have form on submit return confirm. Are you sure you want to delete this user? So yeah, this is an example, just one example of how you can use AI assistance. In this case, it's web assistance. Probably it can be done with AI assistance in your IDE like PHP Storm AI assistant or GitHub Copilot or others. But these are technical details. The most important thing is that by human prompt, you can actually generate HTML with Tailwind styles. So I think it's a perfect use case for us backenders who need to generate some decent UI for showcasing something. What do you think? Have you used AI in this or similar way to generate front end? And how did it do for you? Maybe you have other similar use cases. Let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.